Good morning, everyone. I wanted to shoot a quick video on attracting clients because I am getting a lot of calls from some of my clients and um, I speak and I network and I'm hearing a lot of entrepreneurs um, right now seem to be struggling with attracting clients. So I wanted to drop a quick video just to give you some quick nuggets, some quick tips on how you can get clients, how you can attract them without spending a lot of money on ads, without um, a lot of tech. There are some simple strategies. It's, I always tell my clients, go back to the basics because the basics work. So let me just give you some quick tips. Number one, speaking. Speaking is always a great way to attract clients because it's one to many. And I know you're thinking, oh, what about, if, you know, we can't go to events now. Speak virtually. You can find gigs online, BNI, eWomen, um, Women Who Launch. There are so many so many organizations that are still doing in events they're just doing them virtually so google events that are happening in your um, neighborhood also google events that are happening all over because guess what now events are online so you can get speaking engagements and you can speak virtually like i'm speaking to you now you can speak to anyone anywhere so speaking is still number one networking again i just gave you some um, organizations that you can, you know, BNI, um, eWomen, NABO, or some, just a few. Again, Google is your friend. Google network and events. They are all online right now. It's easier to network now than ever because you literally don't have to leave your house. You don't need a hotel. You don't have to travel. You don't need gas. You don't need a car. So there's no excuse. Network. And I say strategically network. That means go network at events where your ideal client is. You don't want to just pop up at every event that you get invited to. Make sure that your ideal client, the people who you work with, the people that you serve are there, or the people um, that you, uh, your ideal client connections are there, because that's the next one is referrals. You always want to seek out referrals. It's easier, the closer, the closer the contact is you, the easier it is to close, right? So you want to make sure that you are reaching out to past clients, um, prospects, people who know you, know what you do, know, like, and trust you already, they can refer you to your ideal client. So you want to make sure that you are continuing to um, see, always seek referrals. The other thing is you can actually do events. Yes, you can do events. I did a, a very successful two-day virtual event. You can invite speakers or you can you can be the speaker you can deliver content as long as you deliver value that is a great way to get leads remember the whole point of attracting clients is you're not going to typically close most of these people on the first contact so you want to generate leads generate contact so people can start to know like and trust you so at some point soon you can convert them into sales you can get them on a sales call okay so that's the other thing is you can actually have your own event you can attend events. Yes, you can attend events. Um, I've attended some amazing events where not only did I get content and value, but they have breakout groups where we can go and we can network. So you can, that's another way that you can attract clients. Social media is great. You can also go on Facebook. You can do Facebook Lives. You can do Instagram. You can do LinkedIn. Whenever you go on social media, the key to social media is you want to always have like a hot headline title. And then you want to make sure that you're delivering some content, some quick content, and then you one, two, three points. And then you always want to have a call to action, invite them to DM you, invite them to get on your calendar, right? Remember, all of these strategies are geared so that you can attract clients so that you can convert the clients. And I'm going to do another video series on how you convert these leads into clients. But for now, we need you to get out there. We need you to get leads. We need to, your lead funnel needs to be full because the, your leads are the lifeline of your business. So remember all of these things that I just said to you, speaking, networking, um, events, sponsoring events. You can sponsor event. You can actually pay to speak at an event or have a table at an event. E-women all over the, you know, has has conferences every month, you can actually get a table for $75 and get highlighted. So there's so many different ways that you can do it. Again, speaking, networking, sponsorship, um, attending events, um, social media, referrals, uh, speaking, just rewind this tape and you'll, you'll get your whole list. So anyway, these are just a few things that you can do right now that do not require a lot of tech. They do not require a lot of money. They do not require ads. They require you just being visible, 
putting yourself directly in front of your prospect so they know you exist so then you can lead them into a sales conversation and close some clients so that's going to end this first video series on attracting clients so that you can keep your lead funnel full and the next video series i'm going to talk about now that you have all these leads how do you convert them so start start collecting leads so when we come back in the next video session you can we can talk about how you can actually convert those leads have an amazing day. Go get some leads.